G'day, this is Mark from Aussie Heads. Um, this is the 308. We've just about uh, finished it. We've got it on the stand here. It's all cleaned up, cam bearinged up, as you've seen before. Um, what we've done is when I build engines, I like to um, paint, like bolt the uh, sump heads on the block with no gaskets and, and stuff. Here I've just got a, a second hand timing cover we're not using, just bolt it onto mask up. Um, the timing cover area and um, I've got me mate Justin from Max Autos he's going to uh, tomorrow or well, this morning he's going to uh, put it in the spray booth and uh, give it a nice uh, two pack job and the customer Craig baby he wants the um, the colour just the heads block and sump uh, same colour as the car it's a Royal Plum and the manifold and all the timing cover and everything's been polished. So uh, it should look good. So what we've got over here, we're just finishing off the heads. We've spent about um, 70 hours doing these babies up from scratch. That's everything, all the port and the polishing and the guides and screen stud mods, everything. So we're just going to finish do a finish cut on it. The old RC900, beautiful machine this. And basically, just doing a light cut, finish cut. It goes across automatically. Surface grinder or by the boys in the train called Mr. Mill. Head mill. This is uh, how we actually uh, machine the heads. This is cast iron head, so what we're doing is actually grinding it. Aluminium heads uh, have got a ceramic uh, tip in there and um, we use that for alloy. And it brings up really nice, uh, nice finish. Okay, turn that off there, probably slide off, you can turn the wheel off. And that's her. Um, we've taken taken about, um, oh, the shadow's annoying. But that's ugly too, the shadow, jeez. Anyway, we've taken about um, 15th off these, um, because we've, we're chasing a a CC figure of uh, 65 cc's, that's um, the volume of each combustion chamber with the valves in it closed and a spark plug sealed up. Um, <clears throat> and that gives us our 10 to 1 compression with our zero deck height and everything. So um, we're looking on song. What we do now is just pull that off, I de burr all the edges. So you get some sharp edges there, we we'll give them a nice wash. And I've got one over here, we've already washed up in that. Now here she is there, the chamber's all nicely polished. Probably too shiny. There we go. They're polished, right? And we have the inlet valve there. And the exhaust. Alright, spark plug. The fuel in. Um, fuel in, fuel air in, uh, when the piston's drawing down, when it's pushing up, it's compressing with the valves closed, as soon as it gets to the top, bang, the spark plug goes off, a massive explosion, and uh, she goes down again, the piston, and on the way back up, the second time up, it's uh, the exhaust valves opening and just closing as it's getting to the top, and that's our exhaust stroke, that's how an engine works. It's pretty easy. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Okay, so just with the here, what we've done, we've just done a nice job here. We've just relieved around the valve guide. Boss standard, they come right out and very chunky. But the big valves have been put in from standard L34 size valves. Um, when you're porting, just uh, this is the pocket here in the throat area, blend your throat in, um, or obviously have a nice seat job. Um, that's your short side radius here, 
on the underside here that should have a nice radius up uh, no sharp edges nice flow around the valve I try and get the, the fuel and air swirling in around how it should back around to the exhaust here um, of course all ports you know not all of them are dead straight and square so it's a, it's a bit of a muck around especially on this one because they've got um, the same sort of um, flow in the inlets on this side but the ports coming from either end so and um, I uh, leave the inlets I don't polish the inlet ports up whatsoever I leave that just off the die grinder it gives a little bit of a rough finish and um, that um, promotes the air fuel mixture of actually um, bouncing up and um, mixing up and atomizing even better breaking all the uh, fuel air molecules up evenly and that's right up the board the head here that's our exhaust port a lot of work goes in them also what I've done I've also polished the outside of them um, like I said, we're getting them painted tomorrow. Standard, they have these big rough casting marks here um, all the way along. All the way along here they are, so just um, busted all that back and blended that in nicely so they, they look all painted and nice on the, in the engine bay. So, um, just a few little quick tricks about uh, port and polishing, like I said. You know, smooth, smooth out and round around the valve guide boss area. Your short side radius is very important. Um, on the inlet side of things, you want to try and make your port of your head sl slightly um, bigger than the manifold so there's no restriction going in because the flow in. Um, You've got a long side and a short side of your walls. Um, your, your long side is your high velocity area, your high flow area. So you want to try and stick away from the short sides. Um, a lot of people make the mistake when, say, if the gasket comes out to here, they make a mistake of like trying to just put a 45 degree angle there. That actually is detrimental to the flow. So um, if you're going to try and get it out, try and get it straight all the way down like I've done here. See that? Just and instead of flaring it out, just right at the end. Um, the exhaust. We um, you want to this is there, as we look at it. Exhaust. You want to not touch what they call the floor. Right. The floor of it, that's the roof. Again, that's your high velocity area, and you should always concentrate on the top part, your floor, your roof of your exhaust port. And again, the port should be a little bit smaller on exhaust, and the header slightly bigger. Um, and that works a treat for um, no restriction. Also, it, it uh, stops actually uh, sound waves and um, pulsing coming back up your header and going into your port disturbing the flow so actually that little lip there is uh, very important not many people know that so there are our heads we are just got to put them together but what we're going to do is shove them on the block put a set of old rocker covers on it and just mask up the valley and um, in the spray booth she goes it's pretty privileged this one Justin from Max Autos offered to put in the booth, so why not? Anyway, um, we'll um, catch you later on um, after it comes back from the paint shop. We're ready to put pistons on rods and start putting crankshafts and pistons in. And uh, we're well and truly on our way to our final assembly and the dyno room. I'll catch you later, people.